Hello and welcome. I am Matt Taylor and this is my variety channel. It's Friday. That means it's date night. For those of you who might be new, every Friday I post a creative date idea from a book I published called 101 Creative Dates. Back in college, I had the idea to write this book. I wanted to have a resource for friends and family and other people to turn to when they wanted to do a date. You know, sometimes it's hard to think of, oh, what should I do this weekend? What should I do this weekend? Um, I'm tired of doing dinner and a movie. because Dinner and a movie seems like it's always the date idea that's used if you can't think of something. Or nowadays, Netflix and chill. And the, the way the book is set up is it gives the date idea, it gives kind of like the recipe of what you need uh, for the date, and then it gives my personal experiences with that particular date. So I'll, I'll write down the whole date idea down below um, so you can read it uh, if you want to find out like my experience with it and whatnot. So that leads us to this date, date number 44, Top Golf. So for those of you who may not be familiar with Top Golf, Top Golf is a kind of a game center that was developed over in the UK and then it spread over to the United States. You can also find Top Golf in Canada, in Mexico, Australia, and the United Arab Emirates. So I'm curious for those of you who live in those areas or countries if you have heard of Top Golf. So what it is is it's a big location. Think of like a driving range on steroids. Usually you go there, at least the ones here in the US that I've been to, um, it's a big, huge center, big building with uh, like where you can order food. Um, there's other, usually other little games there. And then it's leveled, usually two or three levels. And instead of being like just a driving range, you have like a whole little bay that you can sit at. You can probably have up to like 20 people there, uh, maybe 15. And they provide the clubs. And then they have this whole little scoring system. You plug in and you put in your players. Um, kind of like bowling meets golf in a sense. Um, traditionally, it looks kind of like a driving range. But then out in the range, there's all these big circles or targets. Really big ones, small ones. And if you hit those targets with the golf ball, you get a certain amount of points. So like one that might be way out there, like 250, 300 yards away, if you land in that one, it could be a, a ton of points. But even if you shank the ball and it goes like off to the right, um, slices or uh, whatever, and it lands in one of the holes over there, it could still score you some points. So it's actually kind of fun, even if you just like ground the thing and it rolls down <laughs> and it rolls into one of the um, targets, you could still score some points. So it's just a lot of fun, especially if you aren't really good at golf, you can still go and have a lot of fun and actually score a lot of points. You might even win. And it's just a fun place to get together and like I said, is usually the, you can order a lot of food um, there as well. It's a little more, more pricey, but it's like what you'd expect at like restaurants and things like that. And they have pretty good food there, like burgers and sandwiches and fries and stuff like that. And um, it's not too expensive. Um, like the one here, um, I think it was like $40 for an hour. Um, so you just rent it for an hour, that bay for like 40 bucks. So if you bring a lot of people with you, you can split the cost and make it pretty cheap. And even like if you did two hours for $80 and you had like 10 of you there, that's only like $8 per person. So that's pretty cheap and it's a lot of fun. And that's a good twist on, um, on normal golfing or normal driving reins. Once again, this date idea is number 44, Top Golf. Write a comment down below if you've ever been to Top Golf and what your experiences were with it. Once again, my name is Matt Taylor and this is my variety channel. Until next time, happy dating, everyone.